Cart fans. Welcome to Jumper Cable Dads. This is the beginning of our VF1 KJ Racing cross cart build. Using the uh, 2008 Polaris Outlaw 525 with independent rear suspension. We got our metal in. Rogue Fab M601 bender setup. Rogue Fab Versa Notcher. We just got it in literally five minutes ago. Today we're going to start on the frame. We're going to be doing a bunch of cuts, a bunch of bending. We'll see how far we can get today. The but plan let's... with this build series is not necessarily a how-to. If you want to see a how-to to build a VF1 K KJ Racing cross cart, go to KJ Racing's YouTube channel. He does a full build series. This is more to record our experience and the fun we have building this. So the first thing we got to do is we need to measure and cut all our tube to length. And we're going to switch to time lapse for that because yeah, I don't think you want to see us explain and record every single measurement and cut. Yep. <laughs> so we're trying to plan this out best to minimize loss of tube. So we're going to start with the longest piece first, which is the main hoop, which is the main roll bar across the back. So we're going to start with that. All right, so we just finished cutting all the tube. How long did it take us? Five hours. So our process was I would give him the number, he would write it down, he would measure, he would line it up on the saw, I would also come measure, double check the saw blade, he would cut, and then I would also measure again after it was cut. And now we're gonna switch to the next part. The bender. Cut to the bender. All right, so we probably spent a good hour making sure we had everything set up right, measurements were correct, and block placement was correct. How we wanna do our angles to find, we're gonna use the one on the bender and a couple digital angle finders as well. Our biggest issue was trying to figure out the block placement based off of the measurements. The block go after or before, so I think we've got that narrowed down after re-watching some of KJ Racing's videos. And uh, we're gonna go for the first one. This is part of the main hood. The hood hoop. The, the lower hood half. slash windshield hoop. This is the lower half, the one that comes to a point. All right, zero. Here we go. Good. Yeah. Nice. Got it. First one done. So far, seems like a success. I'm trying to get as much done on one day as we can. Oh, hey. Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, we're on the main hoop right now. Uh, we already bended a couple floor pieces this morning. So we got, yeah, got these two pieces bent. They haven't been notched yet, so they're not fitting there perfect. This one should line up from about halfway, yep. goes around the rear part of the jig and then back down. Getting more comfortable with the bender, making uh, pretty accurate bends, figuring out spring back angle. Uh, so yeah, the fitment is not too bad now. Everything looks pretty even across compared to what it lo first looks like. You can kind of see it barely if you look at this. That's and not these sitting two even. These pieces are supposed to be straight together these are going to get oh, butt welded. Oh yeah. So we did sleeve. a little overbend on that corner up there. Uh, or no, no this, this, one. this one. This one. We did a little bit of overbend. So then these are sitting more like this. And we bent this one back out a little bit. But when we go to actually tack it in, we put some, we're going to put a jack in there, press it out a little bit, kind of straighten it out, reinforce it. Yeah. <laughs> This is the 
main hoop, kind of the main roll bar. You didn't, you didn't think that through. Yeah, it's starting to come together. It's not bad. Basically ready to ride it now. Hey, Kyle. Hello. How's it going? Oh, hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, what's up? <laughs> not too bad. How are you guys doing? Good. Hey, what's up? <laughs> The main uh, hood on, we got the main hoop done, some of the floor is done. Nice, looks good. And I was out driving in this one. Any words of encouragement on our first build? Measure twice, cut once. That's already, already that, doing it. Yeah, that's yep. the good thing about having two people. One of, <laughs> one of us measures it, the second one double checks it. Yeah, do you guys have a die grinder? No, we don't. We're using a bench grinder for like beveling the edges. Yeah, I got an electric die grinder. You can get these at Harbor Freight for super cheap. Okay. And holy smokes, it changed so much. That's awesome. So much, everything fits together so much better. What are we doing? My air compressor is kaput. So we're gonna do this the old fashioned way. We're gonna do this done by hand. Did you zero the gauge? Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty, nineteen, eight, nineteen point, <laughs> nineteen point nine, twenty. You okay? Yeah, I'm just laughing. Twenty-one point three, twenty-two point one. Oh gosh. Twenty-two point two. <laughs> <Don't know. laughs> Your inputs don't match what reality is. You got the next one. Yep. Take turns. Action pose right there. Some sweet action music with this. Right now, we're doing a very tedious part of this. These rear upright pieces have three bends in them, but they're all at different rotations. We're still trucking along. We got a whole bunch of stuff bent. This is the last of the 1.5, and then we switch out the dies. All right, we're on our last bit of air on this tank, and then we're gonna have to continue everything by hand. We've been doing all the small bends by hand. We got a 90 to do. Hi, welcome to Jumper Cable Dads. This is episode two of the Cross Cart Build. 